don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again, and today we have the privilege of taking a look at the X-Trans Bots uh, Eligos. Eligos. This is their MX86 or 86MX3+. This is supposed to be the cartoon color version, I guess. Uh, I don't know, it's a reissue, so I never got the first part of this, the first one of these, so I thought, why not take this one, give it a try and see what it was like. So, here's the front of the box, side of the box, back of the box, side of the box, top of the box, and the bottom of the box. So, let's uh, open this bad boy up and see what we get. Y'all can't see in there? Empty box. You don't need to see the light either. Okay. Now I do have uh, I do have their Andreas, so we'll we'll compare them here and see what we get. Right off the bat, we get this really nice looking weapon here, as you can maybe see. As you can see, uh, it's got some paint on it, some teal right through here. Looks really nice. Uh, it's a nice looking sculpted weapon. And it is coming in at approximately four and a half inches. So, nice weapon. We also get this thing. Okay. Uh, we get this thing right here, which is another blaster. Looks very nice. Yeah. Uh, we get a sword, which here we go. Okay, we get a sword, very nicely detailed. I I, I do like the molded detail here and on the handle. Nice little jewel. Coming in at approximately seven and a half inches, so nice sword. We, of course, get the directions. Looks like there's a card in here, too. So, bully for that. And the directions here nice, full color directions. Yeah, I can I can live with that. Truncheon. So nightstick is called truncheon here. Okay. And we get a crap ton of other things. We get a little miniature Galvatron, I guess, that can fly in his cockpit. Several different faces. And a new head. I guess that's the IDW head. Yeah, okay. So, to the figure himself. Yet a, another figure wrapped in, uh, that's just a plastic bag, that's not cellophane. So there's that. Looks like we get a flight stand and nightstick. So, yeah. Um, Tell you what, we're going to set old Cyclonus over to the side here for a second. We're going to take us a look at Nightstick. Seems fairly simple. A little bit of paint on the face that appears to be what we get paint-wise. Head can move back and forth. No up and down. The arms can go that far up, so he can definitely do the wee thing. 
all the way around they're on a ball joint uh, no bicep rotation you do get a double bend elbow so that's nice uh, it looks like there's a cut for waist rotation maybe not Okay, so no waist rotation. All right, but we do get the we do get the ab crunch. It's a transformation thing, but we do get it. T jointed ball joints for hips gets in the full Chinese splits, no problem. Forward and back for the full American. What thigh rotation you get? You can get a little bit off that off that uh, ball peg, and you get some off this ball peg as well. So knees come up that far. Feet can go forward, back, and you get a little bit of a rocker. Sorry for the cut there, folks. Uh, something happened to my camera. Weird things go on. Uh, but I'm going to transform this thing real quickly, so uh, bear with me. Close these in, pull this down, and that will go into a, you can't see, that'll go into a groove right there have another groove right here for this piece so pull this up pull this down and it will do just like that like it should connect the two and there we go we have the bottom half we can extend the barrel here a little bit as we make him kinda sit down right now we're going to bring him all the way down there's a hinge here it's gonna come in and now we're just going to rotate the fist until it plugs onto this port right here. Theoretically. That's how it's supposed to work. Okay. Yeah, it's just supposed to go right in that port. Go in there. Why don't you want to go to your home, man? Why don't you want to go to your home? Don't you like your home? Anyway, that's how that's supposed to work. See, there it went right in that time. And that one went in that time too. So, yay for that. Final step is to come underneath the barrel, and you might need your spudger to extend the barrel. And here's nightstick. Good enough, I guess. Uh, good enough, I guess. Can the figure hold it? I don't know. I haven't made it that far yet. I mean, I literally haven't done anything to him. So let's see if he can hold his weapon. in the slot works just fine as you can see no issues all right so yeah that's nightstick he's all good okay well we've got it here why not see if the rest of the weapons can fit in his palm yep holding that one just fine as well and we've got two more to do We've got this one right here. No problem. The last thing we have is the sword. And let's see, I believe it goes like this. Yep. You can hold that just fine too. Alright, so he's able to hold all of his accessories without issue, worry, or concern. So let's talk about the figure. Um, right out of the box here. I haven't really done anything to him 
other than just pick him up. He's coming in at approximately uh, ten and a half inches to the top of the things here, shoulder to shoulder, right out of the box is about five inches. Depth wise, and we're looking at like three and a half. Tell you what, let's uh, pardon the camera movement. I'm not trying to make anybody sick. All right, let's zoom in here so we can take a look at that face sculpt. It's a nice face sculpt. It's a little gaunt to suit me. I don't remember Cyclonus looking quite this gaunt, but I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Uh, this looks more like the IDW head or the IDW face. I'll probably swap it out with one of these. Probably this one right here. Just the stoic face. It's probably what I'll swap it out with. Probably will. Anyway, this is what we got right now, so let's talk about it. It's it's an interesting head sculpt. Uh, this this is all paint. We have black paint right here. The face is all painted. Uh, articulation. He can move. Uh, okay. <laughs> so you don't want to move it quite that far, but you can you can move it. It moves up and down a little bit, so that's a good thing. Coming on down the figure, uh, we've got some orange paint here, some orange paint here, some. What color do you call that? Lavender color here, some lavender color here, uh, we get some black on the wings, we get some black down here, some more kind of off purple color, some more lavender down here, uh, this is, what color is this, uh, sort of that off lavender, some black, some purple, coming to the feet, we get this, these feet are cold, so they're die cast. Yeah. All right. Looking at the back, he looks like this. So, yay. Let's see. We were covering articulation, ratcheted arms. Oh, that's nice. They can go out that far. So, on a hinge. So, I guess that's like a universal. We get bicep rotation right here. Although it does kind of bump into this. Whether it's meant to or not, I don't know. Elbow bend, over 90 degrees, no problem. It feels like a double jointed elbow too. Um, I don't think I was supposed to extend it that far. No, I don't think I was. Uh, I could see that as an issue. Okay, moving that on up. Let's see here. Covered bicep rotation. The fingers are thumbs on a ball joint. The other four are on a base pin knuckle with a hinge, hinge, and hinge. So he can he can do this with his fingers. So that's good. Limited waist swivel, but it is there. Give you pretty much all you need. Uh, ab crunch? I don't think he's got an ab crunch. Hip skirts can move out of the way. For that much articulation. What the hell is this thing? Hmm. That's unsightly. Looks like he's going to be able to do the full Chinese splits. No trouble, but not the American splits. He's got universals with no no thigh rotation. Okay. There's no thigh rotation? No. How? Okay. Surely there's thigh rotation. No? I don't think there is. Single hinged knee gets you that far. And the ankles. 
toe tilt down, toe tilt up, and a fairly good rocker. So, this thing has limited articulation. How odd. Um, I mean that with all due respect. How odd. Um, I would have expected more articulation from this thing. But now I sure don't seem to see a thigh swivel anywhere. Huh. I find that really interesting that it does not have a thigh swivel or an ab crunch. Is this an older mold? I mean, I know it came out like a year ago, I thought. I didn't think it was so old that it wouldn't have basic articulation. Huh. Regardless, um, I'm kind of dying to get a Decepticon symbol on him. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in the pictures and we'll go from there. to attempt to transform Ilagos here. Um, I have to tell you I had some issues and so I watched uh, Skullface's review of this. Uh, I, I knew this was a reissue but I did not know um, this is this is like a five-year reissue. I did not know that. So yeah. Um, so if I'm successful with this then it's because I watched Skullface's review. But, uh, because I was having trouble with the directions and it just didn't make a lot of sense and some of this was uh, so tight I was afraid I was going to break it. So, first thing I'm going to do is, oh and if you notice I, I changed out the face. Collapse the ears, I'm going to rotate them around and leave that like that. I'm trying to remember, make sure I get it right. Next, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to take this panel and just kind of pop it out. It just pops in right here as you can see. Pop that out, pop that down, and secure that into place. Then we have this slot right here with this peg. We're just gonna slot them together. Now there's a piece here that's gonna come in and fill in like that. But uh, I think it, it might be this one. It's, it, it, its peg doesn't work properly. So I'm not going to do that right now. I will tell you, having a spudger here makes all the difference as far as uh, getting this thing to transform. Ow. the heck? All right, that goes in. This comes up. It collapses in. So you get something that looks like this right now. All right. This bit right here is on a sliding joint. If uh, you all can see the groove right here, this will go in there. But before you do that, pull this back and you have to have it so that this bit right here can come up and out. So there is clearance, you just gotta move it out of the way. Once there, position your arms however you have to so that you can open up these things here. And the goal is to lift this piece. It's on an extension here out. You will need to open these flaps here up as far as they'll go for now. Bring this in and this will collapse up and this will collapse inward. However, if you notice, there's a pin right here and a port right here. So just go ahead and get that out of the way. 
maneuver these until they'll go in place and then you just kind of lock them in as best you can. I will say, uh, transforming this, pieces don't lock in the way that you expect them to or the way you want them to. Open these up as much as you can so that you can slip the head in there and then it is just a matter of closing this up, locking this into place on both sides and then connecting them as you would imagine. I will say for for some reason I'm I'm not sure about I have a very difficult time getting all this squared away. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there's some human error involved here, but this is what you have to do to make it work properly. And as I said, I still get the gap. Just be mindful of that. Close up these bits here on both sides and just kind of position your hand as well as you can so it will oh, that one's really really tight so that it'll go in uh, it'll go in here in a minute and you've got to got to have the the fists in just a certain way or it won't work right we'll get to that we'll get to that now this will come up and we're just going to let that kind of hang out for now. Uh, lift it up as high as we need to so that we have clearance to work on the legs. I'm going to lower the camera just a tinch. Okay. For the legs. This bit comes up on both sides. Okay. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. This bit right here comes open on both sides and just for just for giggles I'm gonna get the arms out of the way just to give myself a little bit more room and open up the legs now let's see how do I do this this separates right here he says is that the right side no it's this side my apologies this comes open you can just kind of move your foot a little bit so that you can open all this up this swings around on a double hinge now the knee is locked in place I have discovered that you can get it loose uh, it really doesn't like it but you can do that you have to get this bit out first open it is it opened up? No, leave it collapsed. And just get the oh, good night. All right. When in doubt. All right, I, I've, I've got the connection loose, okay. Move this round, open this up, open this up. And this is, this is going to tab in right here when we get to that point. Now, take your knee and you want to have your thing here as, as far down as it'll go. This comes in, right? And down. What am I forgetting? That's right. Lift this up. This bit comes in. Does it come in? Is that right? Man, I apologize. Um, 
I do apologize for this. Uh, I thought I knew what I was doing here. I guess I don't. That bit's got to... Maybe not. There's a bit that comes in and folds in and allows... I thought it was this one. I would have told you for a fact that bit folded in. I guess I would have lied to you. Hmm. It's got to fold in. I know it folds in. Oh, that's because it's uh, attached right here. That's right. There we go. That'll do it now. Okay. Whew. All right. Open this up. Fold that in. And this round. And just have that sitting right in there. Kindly like that. Okay. Now, this will allow you to close this leg like this. And it's got to go all the way in, and you know you got it when that will fit right there, okay? Bring this over, and you might have to maneuver these just a tinch. The goal is to have it so that this peg will go in here, and you know I'm not there just yet. So, that means I need to... Just squeeze it together until it goes. Reposition it, move it until it actually locks in the way it's supposed to. Which is not actually the easiest thing to make happen, but is possible. Usually you just gotta fight with it for a few minutes until you get it just right. And then it'll lock the way it's supposed to and everybody is happy. Yeah, bring that flap out. That'll do it. Okay. Yep, I did it. All right, and now that is locked into place. He says, is it just unlocked itself? All right, stay in there. Now, this arm is on a sliding joint. You need to position this adequately. And then you'll have to move it down. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, either way, forward or back. But I'm hoping um, it will loosen up in time. The reason I say that is the hand has to go into this cavity. So, maneuver it until you can get it where you need it, and then whatever you gotta do to get the thing in there. And there's a, uh, there's a certain way that it goes. I swear I don't know if I've got it right, but the last thing we want to do is lose fingers here. You can see this is uh, slightly frustrating. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that. Now see, I've done this before. I don't know why it's giving me so much grief right now. I guess I'm just not holding my jaw right, as my dad would say. Okay, fingers folded properly. Oh, my legs come undone, that's why. All right, stay together this time.
back on it. Why is it being this way? I didn't have this problem before. I know the camera's running, and whenever, whenever the camera's on, that's when all the problems happen. But still, this shouldn't be this much of a concern here. I should be able to transform this thing without too much issue, worry, grief, or concern. The very fact that I'm having so much issue at this particular moment um, suggests that you all will as well. Right? Right. Alright. No, it's still not in all the way because this needs to connect right there. And there's actually a pinhole for it. And that's as far as it's going to go. Man alive. Uh, folks, I may just, uh, may just do... There we go. This one on camera. I might go to... Uh, I might just... Because I don't want this review to take forever. And I feel like I've already been too long just fighting with this stupid leg. But I digress. So we'll do this other leg here in a prompt and efficient manner, and then we won't worry about it. Open this up. We need to untab that so that it can come in. We need to pull those out, uh, unconnect our knee here. Ah, just like that, so that we can pull this up and out of the way. This comes in. I've got it rotated upside down. There we go. That goes in. This will come down after we get the leg in the appropriate place. Remembering to get your joint there just as close as you possibly can so that you can connect it here. Push that flap down, push this down. And if you've done it right, it should allow you to connect it together, which I must not have done it right. And that's the other thing. I don't I really don't get why this doesn't connect the way that you expect it to. Uh, this has a channel for it to go into. There's no reason that I can discover that would prevent it from doing what it's supposed to do here. At least not that I can see. I mean, it should just set right in that channel. He says, 
I gotta tell you folks, I've had some challenging transformations in my day. Um, this isn't far away from them. And by that I mean this thing is uh, pain in the teeth. Yeah, let's go with pain in the teeth. I like that. Pain in the teeth. Yep. That's what this is. Pain in the, in the teeth. It's like when you gotta go to the dentist because you've got a molar that's causing you trouble. And I don't understand why this thing is so doggone difficult. Um, I mean, there's nothing here that should be. Um, it should be just fine. Uh, it, it shouldn't be difficult at all. At least you would think not. Um, at least I think not. Apparently, I'm wrong. Uh, the cockpit comes in and plugs in there, helps to solidify everything. Now we've still got this arm to do. Lord help us. Alright. While trying to maintain the cohesion here. far better and that one's going to connect for me right here the way it's supposed to I can just tell there's that there's that so this one is not down far enough yet all right now it's down far enough it still won't Still won't do what it's supposed to do here. This may be the best I'm going to be able to get it, folks. But having said that, here it is. Uh, this is uh, just about as good as it's going to get. These come up and over, up and over. And here is. Cyclonus in his vehicle mode. And again, I know it's not perfect, but it's. I mean, we you've you've been watching me fight with this now for <laughs> about 20 minutes. Oh, one last thing. Pull out the little nose cone. So, with the nose cone, it's measuring in at right about 13 inches. Uh, the wingspan is about 9 inches, and it's going to sit about uh, 2.5 inches to here, and about 3.5 to here. Uh, the wheels don't really roll all that well. I wish I could get this thing a little bit tighter, but... Uh, that just does not seem to be in the cards today. So, uh, we're not going to, we're just not going to try. Um, I'll, I'll do the pictures of it like this, and then we will uh, go into final thoughts. you say anything? Wait, is that a leg? Oh crud, yike! Final thoughts wise, uh, this thing is a mixed bag for me. 
Uh, it truly is. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, there are basically four things that I look for when I am reviewing a transformer. Uh, playability, the materials, the cost, and I ask myself, if this was my first transformer, would I buy another one? This thing is beautiful. It is painted. Uh, if it's going to go on your shelf, it'll be perfect. It, it, it looks the part. It's a little bit bigger um, than the sweeps, which I think is fine. It's also a little bit bigger than I, I'm using the FT-16, the Fans Toys uh, Galvatron, their Sovereign. Uh, and it's a little bit bigger than that. And if I remember in the cartoon, he was a little taller than Galvatron, so I'm okay with that too. The playability of this, uh, the joints are a little limited, uh, but to be fair, we're looking at something that was uh, apparently a five-year-old figure, and I didn't know that. Uh, he does have ankle rockers, by the way. I missed those. Uh, they were locked in place, uh, so th there's always that. Uh, the materials, they feel fine. Nothing feels like it's going to break. Uh, nothing feels like it's uh, going to you know, cause you trouble. We do have plastic that you have to shift and bend to get uh, parts of the leg right, and I do have a problem with that. The cost, uh, if, if memory serves, this was 120 bucks. I bought it from TF Direct, if memory serves. Don't, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it was. And I, I think it's worth that. Um, I'll never transform it again, I don't think. So I think it's worth it, especially with the accessories and you get the little figure, right? If this was my first transformer, would I buy another one? It is gorgeous. The paint is great. The presence is strong. The uh, accessories are appropriate. Transformation sucks. Um, which is really, really unfortunate because what are you doing? Turning the head around, collapsing the arms, collapsing the legs, and turning it into a plane, right? It should be simple, but the the transformation is complex enough so that I, I, I hesitate when I'm thinking about whether or not I'd buy another one. That is extremely telling to me. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Uh, I think it's worth the money. But I think if you're going to flip it back and forth, you're going to be so frustrated that it won't be. Mine probably never be transformed again. I've got the uh, uh, the KO of the fans toys of this figure coming, Quietus coming, so I might compare them. If I, if I really choose to, then I'll put him back in combined into uh, vehicle mode so I can show them off side by side but I don't know if I really want to go that far or not the transformation is that bad anyway uh, this is a recommend from me if you understand what you're getting into if not I would wait for something else especially remembering that this is a five-year-old uh, reuse of a mold and the articulation is from five years ago so it is limited Anyway, having said that, it's beautiful, and I'm happy I bought it, which is the ultimate, you know, uh, recommendation, right? Anyway, this is Tom. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next review. And thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. Excuse me, can I have some vitamin and John, please? Uh, sure. Yum, 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 yum. Poof! Holy crap! Another satisfied customer of vitamin John. You need to sell this stuff. Operators are standing by. Go now!